video made at Rolladeo.com. Creating a video is now extremely easy with Rolladeo. Disney has taken another step toward diversifying its iconic princesses by casting Rachel Zegler to play Snow White in its upcoming live-action version of the Grimm's fairy tale. Zegler's mother is of Colombian descent and her father has Polish roots. The 20-year-old actress recently wowed audiences in Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. Disney has also announced that Halle Bailey, a black actress, will play Ariel in its upcoming live-action version of The Little Mermaid. But according to actor Peter Dinklage, this is not enough. Dinklage has criticized Disney on a podcast for being hypocritical for focusing on race, while completely missing the ball when it comes to people with disabilities. There's a lot of hypocrisy going on, I've got to say, from being somebody who's a little bit unique, Dinklage told Marin. Well, you know, literally no offense to anybody, but I was a little taken aback by, they were very proud to cast a Latino actress as Snow White, Dinklage said, but you're still telling the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Take a step back, and look at what you're doing there. It makes no sense to me, because you're progressive in one way, and then you're still making that fucking backward story of seven dwarfs living in a cave. What the fuck are you doing, man? However, he could get on board if Disney made some drastic changes to the fairy tale. If you tell the story of Snow White with the most fucked up, cool, progressive spin on it, let's do it. He said. As the most prominent living actor with dwarfism, Dinklage's opinion carries a lot of weight. In a business where people with dwarfism are hired to play fantasy characters, elves and villains, Dinklage has found success in roles that are about much more than a character's height. He's had sex appeal in Cyrano, and been a leading man with his breakout role in The Station Agent. Should Disney consider the fact that Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs casts a shadow over the dwarfism community, because it's often weaponized to mock them? In cultural representations of dwarfs and their disabling effects on dwarfs in society, Aaron Pritchard notes that people often sing hi ho to dwarfs when they're out in public, or ask them where's Snow White? As a cruel joke. Pritchard also says that dwarfs are often dehumanized when portrayed in films such as Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. A dwarf is rarely an ordinary human being, but rather a mischievous being, happy to be ridiculed, and always to be laughed at rather than with, Pritchard writes. Dinklage believes that dwarfs have to endure being treated as less than equal by Hollywood because there aren't enough of them to cause a big enough fuss. It's such a minority. And I'm not affiliated with any groups or anything, but it's such a minority that it causes a real, like, well, who the fuck cares? Disney hasn't publicly stated how it will handle the dwarf characters in the upcoming Snow White remake, but Showbiz 411 reported that they will be CGI characters. It has also been reported that the song Someday My Prince Will Come will not appear in the film. The song has been criticized in the past for promoting the sexist Prince Charming trope. Being in the public eye, Dinklage is in a prime position to call attention to the importance of how dwarfs are represented in a big-budget Hollywood film. This caught the attention of Disney, which responded with a statement. To avoid reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film, we are taking a different approach with these seven characters, and have been consulting with members of the dwarfism community. We look forward to sharing more, as the film heads into production after a lengthy development period, a Disney spokesperson said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter notes that the film will have cultural consultants, and that the updated dwarf characters will be computer animated. Disney has employed cultural consultants in the past on films, such as Coco and Milan to avoid promoting any harmful stereotypes. Some of Disney's most classic films now come with a disclaimer notifying people that they contain outdated depictions of certain groups. Video made at Roladeo.com Roladeo is a super easy tool to automatically create videos with auto-generated voiceovers and the exact subtitles. Thanks for watching.